Hi guys, I'm James McIntosh and today I'm joined with new borough signing Ben Pashley. Ben, welcome to the club. How does it feel to have joined? Um, I'm really happy to have joined. Um, it's not a deal that I was expecting or anything like that or, or looking for, but it's, a, it's an exciting opportunity, so I'm really happy. Well, Ben, for the fans who don't know much about you, can you just give us a bit of a rundown of your career? So uh, I played a lot of my youth football at Money Fields in Portsmouth. And then uh, when I was 19, I think I was, I joined Chichester. Um, was at Chichester for quite a while. I had a, a brief spell at, at Worthing in the middle. And then um, been at, well, I've been at Chichester and Worthing for about six, seven years and then just joined, obviously, just joined Borough. Well, you mentioned Worthing there and even Chichester, both two very good teams at very high levels. So obviously you've been at quite an experienced defender at higher levels. So do you feel as though you can bring this experience to Borough, who are obviously in a bit of a lower level? But do you feel as though you can bring this high level of expectations to Borough now? Um, I hope so. I mean, Chichester are the league below below Gosport, so it's uh, it's a step up from from Chichester. But yeah, I'm I've obviously like I've been playing at that level for quite a while now, so I hope I can bring that over. Well, like I just said there, you're quite an experienced defender. So do you feel as though you can help like young players? So we've got quite a few young players in our team. So we've got Corey Jordan and Toby in goal. So do you feel as though your experience can help these players thrive in this league? I think they're, I think they're absolutely fine without me, to be honest. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, use any experience I've got wherever I can. Well, I was doing a bit of research on you about before we actually came into the interview. And during your time at Chichester this season, your defence actually formed the best defence in their league. So what was it, do you think, that made this defence so dominant? Uh, I think we just had a, a good unit. We'd been together for a few years. Um, good fullbacks, good goalkeeper, a couple of sort of defensive midfielders who, have, uh, who did a decent job. And uh, yeah, I think it was just a sort of being together for quite a while probably, probably helped our cause. So you won a bit of silverware at Chichester as well. So are you hoping to win a bit more at Gosport? And overall, what are just your ambitions for your time at Gosport? Yeah, definitely. So uh, the goal is always to to win trophies where you can. Um, my goal at Gosport is just just work as hard as I can, get uh, sort of try and force my way into the team, and then and see where see where it takes us. Well, like I said before, you've been at a couple of clubs in the South. So did you already have an idea of Gosport and what we play like before joining? Um, not not too much of an idea that where I play for Chichester, which is the in the other the other league, in the Eastern League rather than the Southern League. Um, I hadn't had kept too much of an eye on Gosport, but I, I know Pat and Joe for a little while and I sort of know the style of football that they wanted to play. So I, I had an idea of the, the football they want to play, yeah. So, brushing on Pat and Joe as well, were they quite a big reason for you joining? Was it their philosophy and how they play that kind of drew you into Gosport? Absolutely, yeah. Well, I, uh, the, the way we played at Chichester was uh, we, we looked to pass the ball, move the ball. So, um, the way that Pat and Joe want to play is definitely, definitely um, one of the reasons that I wanted to come over so much. And then we're at home on Saturday against Didcot Town. So, how excited are you looking forward to getting in front of the Borough fans at Privet Park? Yeah, looking forward to it a lot. I uh, I haven't played at Privet Park since I was uh, since I was in youth football, so so should be good to um, should be good to play there again. So I've got one final question. We were talking a bit off air about this, but you played with the legend Scott Jones, who was best known as the surfing footballer. So do you have any secret talents that you might have that's similar to Scott Jones? <laughs> oh, no, nothing, nothing quite adv <laughs> adventurous as Scott. No. Well, to finish the interview, can you say the final words up the borough? Up the bar. Final words from me, up the borough.